Hello! <laughs> Greetings! Greetings, this is more like it. So for all of you innocent viewers at home, the backstory is that we've been trying to um, do some sort of uh, hangout slash uh, non-official podcast format and we've been dabbling with Google Hangout and uh, YouTube live events and uh, this has driven <laughs> <laughs> at least at, li at least uh, me into the Insta desk flip uh, mode in record time <laughs> because nothing seems to work the way you would expect a big corporation thing to work and uh, I'm saying fuck it let's just use <laughs> Skype and record it because it doesn't have to be literally live also I'm not showing uh, any camera pic, pic am I? no yes let's let's rectify that <laughs> Wait, what? Look at this high quality video. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm just gonna. I don't think it's picking it up, but I am gonna have to put the spoiler sheet up. Hang on. Mm, I don't think the. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's visible. Just a second. Still, it's for nice flavour. Mini. Where, where, where? Okay, here. Video! Okay. It should show my video. Nope. <laughs> it's not working! Tucker did it. And you Skype. <laughs> no. This wouldn't have happened if the Estonians were still in charge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Duh. <laughs> I, I, I found a button. Hey! hey, hey. Wee! Podcast, yay! <laughs> oh, whatevers. How do I. Oh, okay. I can make my screen bigger. Then it's like. It's like we're in the same room, yo! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bright in Estonia right now. What it's is the deal? It's because the sun is uh, shining straight into my room. Mm. So, do we have anything special on the agenda today? I was thinking about just the dual profile and maybe some world building shenanigans. But or or that. or maybe for uh, for the first uh, for the first time, maybe just keep it in uh, general updates ballpark, and then make a separate uh, fi separate thingy for the uh, secret profiles. So, tell me, Nax, what have you been up to in the creative front? Uh, well, we today we work through uh, a, a, just a few bits and pieces of chapter 16 and 17. You had uh, a eureka moment, which was utterly glorious. I love seeing those things. <laughs> um, and there have just been some other bits and pieces. Like, we're coming into the end of... Like, chapter 16 and chapter 17 are the last two now, and then we're going to go back and go through the whole of um, Seeker just to change some little bits and pieces that, we've, mm. w that we think need changing. Uh, so, there were, some, there were some, for example, we've got to go back and, and the friendly pings thing has to be taken out. Like, there's a point in the story where she... She gets friendly pings on her computer, but um, in the grander scale, scale of things, now we've come to the end of the book, we found out that it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So mm. stuff like that needs needs editing and taking out. But yeah, yeah. stuff stuff that uh, immediately reads pretty neat, but when you think about it, you realise that it's gonna it's gonna require like additional assumptions from the world and then those additional assumptions actually bring in uh, actual plot holes like mm. if they if they have this solution installed then why wouldn't in that situation they just do that other thing etc etc yeah and i think there's also an element of pacing because you'll be i i i read a couple of the chapters and you you'll be reading through it and there'll be all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And then, sort of out of nowhere, the computer will be like, 
friendly seeker vessel detected and it just sort of threw the pacing off a little bit like original writing yeah it was cool to have these things but now yeah. as we're as we're polishing everything up in, in the final run it's like this this doesn't fit anymore you mm -hmm. know like it, it used to fit it was a cool thing yeah, originally but yeah, now we've yeah. learned and it and the pacing is different because of it so yeah i'm looking forward to it i can't wait for seeker to be released <laughs> <laughs> also, that would mean that all the editing and polishing and finalizing would be fucking over. <laughs> mm, yeah, see, that's the other thing. I think we've now. I went. I drove to Estonia. Um, I think it's about two two years ago now, almost. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, one and a half, more like. Well, yeah. And uh, we've been so into the seeker or seeker for so long. The I sort of got the blinders on for it now, like, it, and we're getting a bit like, oh well, this is cool. We're wrapping it up, uh, but you know, it's I still I still enjoy it, and every time mm. I come back and see you make an edit that is like is perfect because they are awesome. The, like when you when you're talking through Wraith's voice, like "Hello, comrade" and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, hello, hello, colleague and stuff like that. That's, that warms my heart. Like little things like that are are what make me happy to still be editing. But the time it's taken, uh, it's just been like there's nothing else. You mm -hmm. know, there's mm -hmm. there's nothing else, and it's like I, Chaos Nova is bigger than just the Seeker. Yeah. Uh, right. I think I think uh, part of the uh, part of the how long things take and uh, and how long you would expect them to take and uh, and how long they actually take. Part of it is that the work you would have thought we're doing is not actually the work we're doing. Like what we call editing is actually a proper rewrite. Yeah. Because. Uh, back in the day when you felt like oh I have a finished book now it just needs <laughs> some and, and it's released actually that was with with the with the literacy, literacy and the vocabulary that we have now that was that's the first draft that's, yeah. that, that's what that's what actually is called first draft and what I'm doing is not only like I'm doing structural editing uh Content editing yeah. and copywriting all mashed into one, and that's mm. that's why it's taking so long because it's actually actually separate processes uh, intertwined and taking place in the in the same time frame. Mm. So so part part of it, okay, I I also work slow. There is that, but part of it is that uh, the work that I am doing and the work that we're doing in tandem now is actually what other people are doing over several years anyway. Yeah. <laughs> See, this... The, the job role you've sort of taken is, like, ev everything. I, <laughs> I come up with, like, the bulk text, and then we'll, we'll just... But actually, it starts even earlier than that, because we... I write the original... I wrote the original version of Seeker. Mm. Right, and and that was just that was a that was a cool story, and it's so different to what we've got now. Mm. And then you you started doing some of the edits, and then it required that we had discussions, like in depth discussions. And from there, it rewrites started happening again. Like I had to mm. rewrite a few more chapters, and then that's when you got into the editing and the and the sort of structural. Mm. Fi fixing everything basically you took it from the the secondary draft text the ch the clunky text and have turned it into something amazing and you've you've given all the characters their own voices whereas when I first wrote it Wraith was just the bad guy and Raptor was just the mentor you know uh -huh. whereas you've taken it and, and the only real focus I had was on Jewel Whereas you've taken it like, and you've given all these characters what's, that... What's, what does she do? Oh, she's a badass! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> that, you know? So, and we, you've taken these character ideas and you've, you've made them real. And that is not an easy job in and of itself. So, uh, along with all the editing and all the other stuff, you're also getting right in depth into, like, the characters, the locations, like, the world building. Mm. Oh, my God. The amount of effort you've put into world building 
just makes everything feel more real like the the justice center and the the prison station and all that like the sodium lights of the pr- prison station i can still remember all that you know so did, did i come up with justice center you came up with the sort of locate you we okay so it used to be in a youth system mm-hmm. and then we had a massive discussion about how it's sort of like too far away or it was it wasn't right to bring youth into the story at that mm. point when we're flying around our chaos space mm-hmm. so we took it to the prosperity system instead and you came up with like the circular setting of um like there's a central core to the oh, justice yeah. center oh, yeah, and yeah. then and then there was like outer sections and things like that and it's just things like that that whereas i originally was like the justice center <laughs> very closed in view jewel would be walking through like a security center or, or like a little security section and she'd be scanning the walls for like d- d- attack drones and shit like that or well, not attack drones but turrets and security like being on edge and everything whereas you took that and you actually made the location feel more real because you zoomed out a little bit like you gave it uh, you explained how more of the background worked by introducing like the security center and stuff like that if you know what mm, I mean like, yeah th- because I, I built it up uh, based on how you would uh, how you would address the issue of having uh, a secure location where you don't want people to get out from, mm. or, or like uh, I, I worked from the sort of the functionality question. But then again, that's 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 where uh, my weaknesses come in. Like I I often joke that uh, I can uh, I can do a shitload of uh, editing tasks whether mashed together or whether they're separated or well now now that I've I've learned to see them as separate tasks even if I do mash them together but uh what I there are two aspects that I totally suck at it's coming up with the initial material or coming up with the initial text and proofreading <laughs> so those are the <laughs> two ends that I j- I just fucking can't do <laughs> but I think I think the proofreading thing is is the same with everybody who's been embedded in the text for so long you like word blind to some nah, of like yeah yeah I mean there's uh, there's the sort of uh, emergent type of blindness that too but uh, I know it uh, from from my day job <laughs> Quote unquote, uh, from from my other copywriting projects, like I can check it a hundred times, and there are things that I just won't see, and those are the things that the client will immediately pick up. And oh, shouldn't there be a colon? I'm like, I gave you fucking genius text, and you're <laughs> hanging up on a colon. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but but uh, but that's exactly the kind of thing that another person immediately notices, and I'm like. The content is there. What else do you want? <laughs> Check it yourself. <laughs> I'm often very reluctant because uh, when when we'll be working through a thing together, mm-hmm. there'll there'll be a, a a paragraph where where you've omitted the word the or an, mm-hmm. and I don't comment because I know like we'll catch it. Well, not catch it, but I know I'll pick up on it again when it comes to like the proofreading thing, and I'll mm-hmm. bring it up then. But right now, it's just like you're creating the t- the text from my... Oh, uh, no, that's not necessarily the case. With the articles, it's a different process. With the articles... my You see, a student doesn't have articles. Right. And, and sometimes... My, my whole sort of language sense is still different. And sometimes... I don't want to put the articles there because they they feel redundant. Yeah. So it's like uh, when I say, like let's let's say we're talking about a moon, mm-hmm. and when I add an adjective to it, I say forest moon. Then the forest already defines it. O- also, side note: don't ever we we won't ever use. Uh, words like forest moon because uh, <laughs> sing- single biome uh, celestial bodies is a big no 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 bad mm-hmm. bad bad ecology <laughs> but but yeah uh, basically sometimes when I already add the qualifier to something like mm, I don't
don't have a good example here, but the qualifier itself already feels like taking the place of the article, so I don't want to put an a additional article there. There's also an element of respect on my side as well, because I understand that this is still the text that you're kind of... you're coming up with it. Like, mm -hmm. for example, if I start... if I start saying, oh, there should be an and there, or there should yeah, be a yeah, the yeah. there, in, in, like, the chapter 16 text, for example, you're not going to appreciate that at all. Like, you're working <laughs> on the bulk of the text, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There, sh there should be a semicolon there. No! <laughs> Look at the text, you moron! Look at what I've worked on here! This is the important thing. Worry about that shit later. And yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't like to be like, there should be a semicolon there, you know, because it's not the right time. So... Yeah, like, it's it's not that, that part of the process yet. It's, it's like... Uh, respect your editor <laughs> it's, it's like com combing hair that like let's say your hairs you you've been through muck and viscera and and you have like somebody scots is hanging from from your hair and first you need to get the guts and viscera out then you yeah, need to go to the shampoo straight away. <laughs> yeah yeah fix. yeah like then first you need to first you need to get the muck out then you need to sort of separate the tangles then you might uh, go in with some sort of treatment then you go in with the big brush and only then can you go in with the little lice comb so <laughs> if somebody w if if somebody is is going to poke me with the lice comb while i'm poke while i'm dragging out some uh, some literal shit and guts then i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully on board with this way of thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same, same goes with uh, same goes to let's say when we're when we're discussing something, and I'm writing something down in real time, and the the purpose is to get the notes, get the shit down fast enough before my brain forgets it, and then some. Oh, there there should be an e in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I have, I have learned very quickly working with you. That <laughs> there is, there is a moment when you start writing that even the noise in the background at your place <laughs> goes quiet because it knows <laughs> not to interrupt. Like the traffic will go quiet, all the crickets will shut the phone. The, the birds, like, no, will, the birds will drop from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they won't make a thud on the, as they land. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> like the editor is working now. Every everybody shut the fuck up. Serious yeah, yeah, business, yeah. yo. Yeah, like I, I, I hope I would like to hope that they have learned to give a little little heads up that okay, that I need to I need to roll the cogs in my head now. So please do not interfere i hope that i'm able to sort of communicate that part because <laughs> if 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 somebody uninitiated happens to oh why don't you write that word there <laughs> it's, not, it's gonna not be to, a disaster <laughs> not to coin a tumblr phrase but you know when you're working heavily because the silence is deafening mm. and uh, that that is the perfect terminology it's like no it's it's so quiet that to make a noise would just cause Absolute chaos and destruction. <laughs> there is no need. There is no need. <laughs> I need to take a little break. Um, duty calls. And uh, then afterwards we can come back and continue chatting more. Yes. Because I'm enjoying this. I think uh, this little chaotic intro is perfect for a uh, sort of serious intro. And after you return we could actually... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> after after your return, uh, we could actually do the um, uh, in-world profiles thing because I feel uh, nicely warmed up now. Sounds so good. Everybody watching at home, stay tuned. Next episode will be uh, hardcore seeker material and world building shit. So return to us. I will uh, I will try to sort out Skype that uh, so that I can display uh, my visage in a larger window maybe but yeah it has been a pleasure to start up a new series thank you very much thank you for watching also keep telling me how awesome 
how, how awesome I am. <laughs> I always like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and and also uh, a word of wisdom for everybody uh, who tries to set up some sort of social live event, unless you have to include several people and you and you ac absolutely need to get them into the one space where they can share notes and everything. Stay off Google Hangouts. Just use it's Skype. Just yeah, just <laughs> jewelry something. Put some chewing gum on a tree and uh, <laughs> and summon a carrier pigeon, but uh, don't don't uh, uh, don't torture yourself with the Hangout <laughs> system. There's it, no need. Yeah, no need. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, catch you in a sec. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end recording now. Bye. Bye.